15 years. That is a gem. <laughs> Time flies. In good health today, a potentially promising new treatment for Alzheimer's disease. It appears to reverse signs of the disease in the brain, but experts are very cautious. Our Kimberly Gill is here to explain a little bit more about this. Yeah, Karen and Jason, good evening to you. The road to Alzheimer's research is littered with drugs that looked very promising in early trials, then failed in the later stages. This latest drug is actually a vaccine of sorts, and some patients say there's no question in their mind it's helping. Once a month, Joan Serrard receives an IV filled with hope. She was diagnosed with Alzheimer's several years ago after her family noticed a change. Repeating, repeating a lot. Okay. And they would say, Ma, you just told us that. And I says, I did? You know, because you don't remember. Joan enrolled in a clinical trial testing aducanumab. The Biogen vaccine is aimed at removing the pathology from the brain that is killing the brain cells. In Alzheimer's disease, sticky proteins called amyloid form in the brain. Aducanumab appears to remove it. Take a look at the phase one clinical trial results. The red areas indicate amyloid buildup in the brain. Scans on the left are the patient's baseline level before taking the drug. On the right, results after a year on the vaccine, you can see the red areas are drastically reduced. And the highest dose group, the amyloid, was virtually gone. It was the first time that we had seen a combination of all of these things, that is, removing pathology effectively, combined with changes in cognition, memory, language, and also changes in day-to-day -day functioning. And for Joan... I see the difference in me when I'm home, and people have also said that a lot of people would say, no, you don't have Alzheimer's. Now, the vaccine is in phase three clinical trials. Those studies are expected to last until the year 2020. Biogen recently announced it's increasing enrollment in the trial, so that moves has some experts kind of concerned. Obviously, there are a lot of people watching this research very closely because a lot of people suffer with this. Right. Yeah. Looking for an answer. Yeah, indeed. Thank you, Kim.